if we wish to become cheerful optimistic and hopeful if we wish to eradicate negativity pessimism and gloom from within ourselves what can enable us to do this all we need to do is to count our blessings and we have so many of them agreed there are deficiencies in our life everybody's cup is half empty but how can we forget that it is also half full tell a child thank your father for all that he has done for you the child says he is doing his duty his father did it for him he is doing it for me what is the big deal this is ingratitude in the same way we too have received so much the eyes with which we see the ears with which we hear the earth we walk upon the air that we breathe the food that we eat you see unhappiness is not a reality it is only the way we think and happiness is only a shift in our emotions to be happy remember all the different gifts that we have received and to feel gratitude in our hearts for them now you may say swami ji what ultimately have i received let me tell you the story of one man who was always whining about the deficiencies in his life until one day an itch started in his eyes that completely transformed his perspective he went to the doctor and the doctor diagnosed it as a cancerous growth for which the eyeballs would have to be removed otherwise the growth would spread in his body this man was shattered on the appointed hour he entered the surgery ward with this thought that when i come out i will have no eyes however when the doctor entered his eyes he found out that it was just a rare fungus behind the retina he cleaned it up and stitched back his eyes finally when this man's bandages were opened he discovered that he could still see now he was thankful to god for the gift of sight we have received these two instruments fitted with a 100 million receptors each with the help of which we can enjoy the glory of the crimson sky in the setting sun relish the majesty of an eagle in flight enjoy the entire spectrum of seven colors of that aesthetic rainbow like that we have received so many wonderful blessings let's turn our attention to them and then as we stop whining about the cup that is half empty we will be so overwhelmed by the half full gifts we have in our life that we will find a hundred million reasons to be cheerful to be optimistic to be enthusiastic so let us start a wave of gratitude not only for ourselves but in the entire world the community around us 
let us offer this wonderful gift to our near and dear ones. Enable them to become cheerful by remembering their blessings, by feeling gratitude, and thereby creating a ripple of the wave of gratefulness which will spread through from the individual to the family to the community to the entire world and bring about a paradigm shift in the way we feel the way we think and the way we become by exercising this muscle of gratitude in the ethereal heart that we all possess. I invite you to feel the maximum grateful you can and to bestow this gift upon your near and dear ones.